Hello and welcome to another exciting video by War Secrets. The F-35 Lightning II is the most powerful fighter jet in the United States, whereas the Rafales are France's most valued possession. The fifth generation F-35 fighter jet is one of the most modern airplanes on the planet, thanks to its unique avionics and stealth capabilities. However, the French Rafale is no pushover either. This is why we thought maybe we should pit two of the West's best fighter aircraft against each other. So stick with the video till the end to know the complete details. Now let's begin. When the Rafale development began, the French Air Force and Navy issued a joint demand for an omni-role aircraft capable of performing seven different types of combat missions – air superiority, air denial, reconnaissance, close air support, dynamic targeting, air-to-ground precision strike, anti-ship strikes, buddy-buddy refueling, and nuclear deterrent are just some of the capabilities available. These requirements were taken into consideration from the beginning of Rafale's development, prompting engineers to create an aircraft that goes beyond the requirements of each mission type. The Rafale is a true force multiplier, as it is versatile and excels in all mission types. Thanks to an improved airframe and a wide range of smart and discrete sensors, the Rafale has demonstrated a high survival record throughout recent French Air Force and Navy operations. It is expected to be the primary combat aircraft of the French Armed Services until at least 2050. The F-35, on the other hand, is the product of an evolutionary process in the design of low-observable fighter aircraft for the United States Air Force even if some have questioned the concept of a fifth-generation designation. It is based on the development and operation of the F-117 Nighthawk and F-22 Raptor fighters. For the foreseeable future, it will be the primary multi-role fighter for the NATO alliance. The F-35 improves core life cycle cost issues by integrating emerging technology and cutting-edge concepts to increase readiness, logistics and maintenance efficiencies. In other words, the F-35 is designed to last, rather than a federated architecture where line-replaceable units are put in a sequence. The fighter aircraft uses a modular avionics architecture with fusion technology. Maintainers no longer need to dismantle the first and second boxes to replace the third. Instead, they just replace a modular LRU that is easily accessible. Almost all first-line maintenance functions are accessible through the weapon's bay doors, nose wheel valve, and behind panels that may be opened and closed without inflicting any low-observable skin repairs. Simple redesigns, like a front-hinged canopy that allows ejection seat removal without removing the canopy, contribute to ease of maintenance. The Advanced Electronically Scanned Array ANAPG, a T-1 multifunction radar was developed by Northrop Grumman Electronic Systems for the F-35. The AN-APG AT-1ASA is a multifunction array with an integrated radio frequency component. The APG-77's agile beam steering capabilities are also included in the radar system. In March 2005, Northrop Grumman delivered the first radar to Lockheed Martin for flight testing. In November of this year, the 500th ANAPG-81 fire control radar was delivered. The JSF Integrated Electronic Warfare Suite, which is installed internally and includes some Northrop Grumman subsystems, is the responsibility of BAE Systems Information and Electronic Warfare Systems. Thales's RBE-2 Passive Electronically Scanned Radar with Lookdown and Shootdown capability is installed on the Rafale Multi-Role Combat Aircraft. The radar can scan up to eight targets at the same time and can identify and prioritize threats. Thales' Spectra Electronic Warfare System is used by Rafale. Solid State Transmitter Technology, a DAL laser warning receiver, a missile warning, a detecting system, and jammers are all included in Spectra. In comparison to the Rafale, the F-35 boasts a more advanced integrated electronic warfare suite. One of the most significant aspects of electronic warfare is radar. The F-35's APG-81 3rd Gen AESA radar outperforms Rafale's RBE-2 in terms of jamming and suppressing hostile air defenses. LPI radar is far more powerful and difficult to intercept. The APG-81 contains 1,676 TR modules. 
about double the Rafale's RBE2 AESA's 838TR modules. The F-35 is a third-generation AESA radar, which is a far more advanced and mature platform than the RBE-2, which was France's first effort at an airborne AESA radar. It may also generate 3D maps of the target area to create higher-resolution SAR photos for identifying targets, missile launches, and gathering intelligence. With its radar, the F-35 can gather a lot of information. The Pratt & Whitney F-135 low-bypass enhanced turbofan engine, a descendant of the F-119 used on the F-22 powers the F-35. Two BAE systems, full authority digital electronic control systems, are installed in each engine. The gearbox is made by Hamilton Sunstrand. For STOVL propulsion, the F-35B's engine is paired with a shaft-driven lift fan system. Rolls-Royce Defense created a counter-rotating lift fan that can generate more than 20,000 pounds of thrust. As the vertical fan rotates up to create a vertical lift, doors fitted above and below it open. A three-bearing swiveling exhaust nozzle is mounted on the main engine. The vertical lift fan and the nozzle, which are supplemented by two roll control ducts on the inboard area of the wing, offer the essential STOVL capability. The Rafale, on the other hand, is powered by two SNECMA M88-2 engines, each with a thrust of 75 kilonewtons. The aircraft is equipped with a fly refueling hose reel and drogue pack, enabling buddy-buddy refueling. In 1996, the first M88 engine was delivered. It's a twin-shaft bypass turbofan engine designed for low-altitude penetration and high-altitude interception single-piece bladed compressor discs, a non-polluting combustion chamber, single crystal high-pressure turbine blades, powder metallurgy discs, ceramic coatings, and composite materials are all included in the M88. A three-stage LP compressor with inlet guide vane, angular combustion chamber, single-stage cooled HP turbine, single-stage cooled LP turbine, radial AB chamber, variable section convergent flap type nozzle and full authority digital engine management are all part of the M88 engine. The Rafale uses a hands-on throttle and sticks control setup in its cockpit. Thales Avionique has installed a heads-up wide-angle holographic display in the cockpit that displays aircraft control data, mission data and fire signals. Two touchscreen lateral displays reveal aircraft system parameters and mission data, while a collimated, multi-image, head-level display shows the tactical situation and sensor data. A helmet-mounted sight and display are also available to the pilot. Throughout the mission, a CCD camera and onboard recorder capture the image of the heads-up display. Meanwhile, the panoramic cockpit display system for the F-35 was created by L3 Display Systems which is now part of L3 Harris and contains two 10-inch, 8-inch active matrix liquid crystal screens and a display management computer. The F-35 cockpit lacks a heads-up display since everything is integrated into the helmet. There is very little analog in the cockpit, with practically all of it being digital and only about 10 genuine switches, it has a side stick and throttle controls from BAE Systems. In a dogfight, the F-35 is now the most likely winner. The F-35 would be able to strike the Rafale from a considerably greater distance well before the Rafale was even aware of the F-35's presence. The F-35 has a significant advantage over the Rafale due to its stealth and greater sensor array. However, air combat is not so easy and answering the question without context is extremely difficult. Many factors, such as the aircraft variant, the presence of supporting aircraft, their fuel load, weapon loadout, and most significantly, pilot training, could vary the result. Experienced pilots have a long history of outperforming and shooting down aircraft that are more advanced than their own in air warfare. And there are a slew of other factors that can influence the result of a fight between the F-35 and the Dassault Rafale. That's all for today, folks. We hope you have found the video informative and fun to watch. Also, tell us in the comment section your views about which of the two mighty aircraft is better. And if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon next to it for regular updates. Goodbye.